Sportsline.com, your breaking news and weather authority. We're always on. It's time now for the Johnny's Pizza House Friday Night Blitz. Brought to you in part by Homeland Bank. Where's your money? Guerrero and Guerrero, the injury attorney. Louisiana Delta Community College. Start here, go anywhere. And Commuta Health Services, quality affordable health care. Hello fans, welcome to the postseason. The road to the Dome is underway. 26 area teams started the night with a big easy in their GPS. Unfortunately, a few hit some potholes and some roadblocks this evening. Let's start up our playoff journey with a matchup featuring two area favorites. The OCS Cedar Creek rivalry is always intense, and when you throw in a win or go home scenario, the drama is turned up a notch or two. Well, obviously, this is our game of the week, a Division IV showdown. Only 16 teams in this bracket. Unbeaten OCS to top seed. Cedar Creek with just three losses on the season. Had to fight to get in during this season. The Eagles rallied to win 33 22 in the final three minutes. What a scene out of the OCS. Since putting Stephen Fitz's name on the field, the Eagles have yet to lose a home game. Obviously, the Cougars anxious to put a blemish on that 17 0 mark. Matt Middleton's squad been playing postseason football for a few weeks now. Had to win to get in. Eagles get off to a fast start. Landon Graves. We'll find Thomas Colt on the crossing pattern. Uh, Eagles in business early on. Former Aaron's ace, Chad Strickland. He's not the biggest kid, but he runs like a big kid. He slams in for the touchdown. OCS jumps out to an early lead. Cougars hanging around behind that stingy defense, only giving up 11 points per game this season. Come up with three picks in the first half. This is Ladd captain off the deflection for the interception. Trailing by a score in the second quarter, Peanut Middleton will find Thompson for the score, a 23-yard pitch and catch. Pretty cool story this year for the Cougars. They didn't have a kicker. So they found one in the seventh grade. Davis Long can barely see him through the trees here. But he's got the nerves of a senior. We go to the half, tied at seven. Start the third quarter. Graves sets the tone. Finds some running room behind that excellent offensive line. Appears to go in for the score, but he's pushed out at the one. Next play, calls his own number. OCS jumps out to a 14-7 lead in the third quarter. Matt Middleton's team needs to make a stop. OCS's next drive. Again. He's just taking over. Great. Refuses to go down. They're up 21-7. Next possession. Great. He's working. He's on the loose again. Coming right in your living room. And once again, it looks like he's going to go in. Again, goes out at the one. No worries. The Eagles are going to punch it in. Graves with 130 yards rushing in tonight. The big story, OCS holds the Cougars to less than 70 yards of total offense. OCS moving on the number one seed with a 35-7 victory. Preston coming off a 